Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to cover named function expression. Okay, so what is a named function expression? It just uh, have another name for the function when we define function in ex function expression. Okay, and uh, named function expression is a term for function expressions that have a name. Uh, but uh, when we do that, it doesn't make it a function declaration. It is still created during the assignment expression, which is uh, in the execution phase, not in the hoisting or creation phase. Okay, And it's not a visible outside function. And uh, what uh, is used for? It will allow function to reference itself internally. So now let me explain uh, what it is, give it a demo, then we can come back to explain this part again. Okay. So here I will have my, yeah, I have not checked in this piece of code. I'll put it in the here. Uh, uh, named function expression demo.html and here I have HTML5 okay let me have a script tag here uh, suppose I have a function expression like a late um, uh, cast uh, function okay equals function okay uh, CLG uh, first, okay, because my main point is not to, to do the tasks for uh, the function body, it's like this one. Here we have a function, right, which is FUNC here, and we can call this one like uh, as we did before, no problem. Okay, let's test here, definitely no problem, okay, inspect. Here I have first being printed here, okay? And now what is named function? For named function, I just give a non-name when we define function inside the function expression. So here, this foo, uh, for this, the right side part previous, it's an, uh, it's an anonymous function, which a function doesn't have name. But now I give a foo here. And when we do like this way, the function F U N C okay. It only has one name outside this function is still called F U N C. You cannot call it using foo. You cannot call it. See here, foo is not defined because this foo is only available inside the function body. It's not out. It's not available outside it. You can you this foo is available inside this function body. Okay, we can do it this way. can do like this way okay so here uh, uh, when I do you will see first being printed and the full being printed and this full is not defined is also the same arrow okay same arrow we have this call outside it so that is the slides talking about um, name the function is not visible outside of function okay and uh, it doesn't make this one to be a function declaration because it's been created during assignment uh, expression, which means uh, when we had a function for here, it doesn't make this part uh, as a function declaration. Function declaration is talking about this one. Function bar, okay. And this is a function declaration. And this is a function uh, expression and when we add a name inside the function expression, it doesn't make a foo the same as a bar. Because if the same as a bar, we can call this foo here. But it, definitely we cannot record it here, right? We see an error. We see an error here. See here, foo is not defined. But if, we, if it's a function declaration, like a bar, we can call bar, right? We can call bar. Bar this way and uh, okay here uh, here we can call bar you can see bar is being printed 
so they are different okay this way and this way different this function foo only available inside the function body it's not available here okay outside the function and uh, um <coughs> When is this function being created? No matter you add a name or not add a name, they are all created in the execution phase, okay? Not in the hoisting phase. So they are created when we do this assignment. When we do this assignment. So if here, even though here have full treated, then have doing assignment, they will create them. Okay. Next one is where, ah, it will allow the function to reference itself internally. That is uh, when we will use uh, uh, named function expression. Now I will give you a concrete example. Suppose uh, we give example using uh, Fibonacci the sequence. Let me show you what is the Fibonacci sequence first. Okay, we're using this one Fibonacci uh, formula or sequence standard matter. This one. Fibonacci sequence, which f0 is 0, f1 is 1, f2 is uh, equals f1 and plus f0, so it's 1. f3 will equals f1 plus f2, so it's 2. f4 equals f2 plus f3 is going to be 3. f5 will equals to f4 plus f3, so it's 5. So this is Fibonacci sequence. So um, uh, I will use. Uh, the recursive way okay and which is the slowest so what do we do is a const fibonacci okay equals equals a function and we pass a number n okay if uh, n equal equals zero or n, uh, no, 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 or n equal 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 one i use uh, street equal okay then i will return n okay and uh should we do another checking here uh if uh n is less than zero we will throw error we will throw error say uh, n must be greater than z greater or equal to uh, must be positive value okay, like this way okay and then uh, else if and then here last one is errors else return Fibonacci n minus 1 plus Fibonacci n minus 2 okay so now let's test uh, let me format and here I will call Fibonacci which is uh, what's the thing uh, 8 okay Fibonacci 8 should be the value what? Fibonacci 8 should be 21. Okay, so now let me execute this one. Inspect. We have. Did I call? Uh, I didn't call. I didn't print it. CLG. CLG. Okay, I'll print the Fibonacci 8. Okay, it should give us 21. Oh, you have 21. We can do one more, like uh, Fibonacci uh, 5. Because uh, when it uh, get larger, it cannot be slower. So Fibonacci 5 is 5, and Fibonacci 5 is 5. Okay, if I do larger numbers, uh, it cannot slow down because this performance is not good. But uh, here we just are using it to be demo purpose. So here, inside this function, I call myself. It works, right? And uh, now, uh, when we change this one, have a fib. 
and the here uh, which is using named uh, function expression like here flip and here use the flip okay and uh, we call this one again there's no difference there's no difference because I just add the flip here and use it, this flip internally and there's no difference so what's the point should I using the uh, named function expression because from the behavior I can just use the Fibonacci here, right? I can use the Fibonacci. This function expression, this variable uh, here. There's no difference. So why should I use it, right? The problem is like this case. Suppose, suppose I do like this one, okay? Const foo equals Fibonacci. I make another variable assigned to Fibonacci. Okay, now I will make the Fibonacci equals now. In this case, if I using Fib here, okay, and I will call this, uh, I will call this foo. Okay, uh, let me think about it. Okay, uh, Fibonacci now. Yes, I call the this one to be foo you won't have uh, any problem uh, I can I have to use uh, let for this one you won't have any problem but if I do like this way then we're gonna have problem okay so here you will see Fibonacci is not a function and that is the power of using Fib the of the named uh, named function expression name function will always point to this function no matter how you change the on uh, this uh, variable being assigned so here we have a full assigned to fibonacci okay we point the, the full point to the fibonacci which will point to the same function uh, this one and then i change the fibonacci to be none okay now i call full full eight and five in this case we're gonna have an error the reason is what the reason is when i call foo okay the foo will call this function actually but inside of here I, I call the fibonacci but now my fibonacci become the non that's why we see the errors okay which is uh, here see here because i assign this one to be non but now if i change this one to be using fib and this fib is used internally and it will always point to the function itself and it doesn't matter how you change it on the fib so in this case when I uh, executed the code again we don't have the problems and that's the power of the named uh, function expression okay just a print uh, being it can solve these kind of problems which your variable is being changed outside of the function so now let me go back to show you this statement. It will allow function to reference it internally and always refer to that function itself. Okay. So I'm done for the named function expression. Hope you understand after my explanation using Fibonacci number, this uh, example here. Okay. Thank you for watching my video and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.